And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Hirana's Destiny. We got memed here Monday today. We have four very cool looking viewer submitted donation decks. This one's going to be a deck with Zoe and Zed for the champions. That's going to be all about buffing up the allies in our hand. We're going to be using like Green Glade Elder to grant our allies in hand plus one plus one. Our Jewel Protector grants an ally in hand plus three plus three. And this new Targon card that I have not played before yet, Destiny's Call, grant an ally in hand plus eight plus eight burst speed. So it's kind of like Battle Fury, except for Battle Fury is plus eight plus four, but it's something in play. This is plus eight plus eight, but it's something in your hand. And so we're going to be buffing up the things in hand. And then we're going to be using Zephyr Sage. That can, you can play and create an exact copy of a card in hand other than a Zephyr Sage. Okay, so with this Destiny's Call, let's say that we play the Destiny's Call on like an Inspiring Mentor. Okay, now we have a 10-9 Inspiring Mentor in hand. And then what we can do is we can play Zephyr Sage, create another copy of it. So now we have two of the 10-9s in hand. And we can um, play the first one. We can buff up the, the other one in hand. And now the other one in hand is now an 11-9. But instead of just playing the other one, we have Monastery of Hirana, Round Start, create a Sanctuary in hand. So we can create the Sanctuary to recall an ally. So we can keep, so we can recall our Zephyr Sage and then replay Zephyr Sage and make another copy of that, you know, now 11-9 and play that, recall the Zephyr Sage, replay it. Now we get, you know, so every, so we can just keep on cycling, just keep getting more and more of these really buffed units from hand. That's obviously a super slow process. But I'm just saying that that's something really cool that our deck can do at the late game. Um, you know, in the very late game. If, you know, if we get to that point of the game, we can uh, keep on making different copies. Sparklefly is going to be an important one in here because we are kind of like a slower deck and we got some some late game stuff. And so we got all these buffs in hand. We're going to we don't want to play Sparklefly on turn two. We want to wait for Sparklefly to get buffed up quite a bit from all of our buffs and then play it, you know, especially like Sparklefly with Destiny's Call getting that plus eight plus eight turning this into a nine ten elusive <laughs> uh with lifesteal that can you know be really important all right but anyway this looks pretty cool this is i i always enjoy playing the cards that buff each other and stuff and uh so this should be a fun one to play so we're calling it hiranas for monastery hiranas destiny for destiny's call all right let's go play our five games we're just gonna be playing in normal because it's meme tier day. Freljord Sharima. So we got a Talia Lissandra deck, but also an Ash in here. For good measure. I think this hand looks pretty good. I like the 1-2-3 curve. Guiding touch. Not sure what it really does. I guess I'll just mulligan it. Because Mentor turning Highwayman into a 2-2 is kind of cool. Um... I guess I just play Zoe though. Like sometimes you like have like some cool little combos that you want to do, but then you're like, uh, I guess I also just have Zoe. Yeah, we always you always have turn one Zoe in a Zoe deck, so you, you always got something. The order rewards its faithful. Okay, monastery returning inspiring mentor could be cool. Sparkle fly. They cannot hide. Winter take you. Frostbite Mazoe. These eyes see all. Man, they're not going to let me bounce my. 
Inspiring mentor too much. Doesn't look like. That's fine. How did that move go? Oh dear. Heard you're new in the area. So playing that to make the other thing vulnerable over here. Silent as death. Ooh, there's Destiny's Call. Yeah, buffing up House Spider. Portal me something cool. Let's do it over there. I will play my part. Okay, so Zoe's at five. Blessed by snow and stars. Bring me the calm of an eye shroud. Ah, and this is strongest. Now I wish I would take an equinox. Not sure what I want to do. Let's play Destiny's Call on Zed. Yeah, I could use Sanctuary, Bounce, Shadow Assassin, and replay Shadow Assassin. Which we still can. Ooh, that's a good card. <laughs> My strongest ally is this Navori Brigand. Take another two. That's fine. Alright, so I want to level up the Zoe. So playing Shadow Assassin doesn't level up Zoe. Not neither does Highwayman. Like neither of those level up Zoe. I, I could play Zed to level up Zoe, but then the Zed just gets frostbitten at the beginning of the turn. Um, I could play Sparklefly to level up Zoe, but I would like to after I level up Zoe, then play Sparklefly for the lifesteal. So I'm kind of stuck here. I guess I'm just going to pass. I could go like the Sleepy Trouble Bubble, but that's not great. Okay, Guiding Touch. So cool, would you save the spell mana? We use Destiny's Call on the Zed to make Zed very large like that. Okay, so I can play three things. I can play Shadow Assassin. And Zed and Sparklefly. So we can give we can give Zed lifesteal. And elusive. I walk your path alone. A chill in the air. Lame. I guess I could have sanctuaried that back to my hand. Yeah, we'll save the spell mana. Don't know why I would attack with Zed, so let's do it. The tenth card copies, yeah. So that I could have played the Sparklefly to copy, but then I couldn't have this the Sparklefly give the Zed life steal, right? I wanted the Zed to have life steal. And <laughs> twelve, eleven, elusive life steal Zed. Equinox was our best card. Uh, we have elusive lifesteal stuff again. We already kind of have that. I'll just take it. Don't exactly have the room, but that's okay. Ice runs in our veins. Shatter them. Okay. Punish restraint. Okay. I was gonna say it make more sense to block over here, you know, take the three than life steal, but yeah. <laughs> Alright, wanna know. Ooh. This deck's gonna go big. 
They're gonna kill all my cool little things. All right, let's just mulligan the top. Actually, let's keep deny. Deny is probably gonna be great in this matchup. Ugh. Ugh. Well. You'll soon understand my methods. Not the best getting the double, <laughs> double destiny skull. Uh, not the best. Wow. This is a hand. Are you kidding me? I'll show you how it's done. This is what we call drawing as bad as possible. <laughs> um, I don't know. We We kind of have a good hand verse uh Targon's peak. Yeah, now we find Zoe. Zoe or Sparklefly? I guess Zoe. Life steals maybe not as important for this matchup. I don't know. I got Destiny's Call for Sparklefly anyway. Yeah, we have a ton of super expensive cards. We're actually... Yeah, like that's actually kind of cool for us. Just make 12 12 Zoe. <sighs> Zoe, one turn kill. So this is 12, 17, 19 right now. So I gotta play this for 20. Okay. Why didn't I do the big flex whenever I played 12-12 Zoe? I missed I miss my chance for the big flex. Alright, we 2-0. Oh. Yeah, because Dragon's Rage with the Zoe, that is Zoe striking the Nexus, so you would get to make the super cool star chart. That is Nexus striking. Okay, we don't need two Highway Man. The one Highway Man kind of cool. We don't need a second. Turn one Zoe. So this can be tough. Like this looks like a Blighted Caretaker deck, you know, and everything, and that. Like, I've just been very impressed with the Shadow Isles Nasus decks. They always look very good. We weren't expecting callers. My training is unconventional. Like I said, they're very good. This is a part of the training. Particularly good when you get to, get to attack for ten on turn two. Another six. Yeah, 
great hand. Very impressive hand. Doesn't look like I have time just to play Jewel Protector. Looks like I'm going to have to play the Highwayman this turn. So if we're playing the Highwayman this turn, we can go ahead and just play the Super Cool Star chart as well. The Charger is the better unit. Equinox, again, would have been my best hit for this Undying, but... Charger's better than Serpent, but Serpent goes towards leveling up Zoe faster and would also, you know, we'd save a mana. Probably have to just take Charger, though. Have to let it happen. We don't want any trouble. Times are tough. Just looking out for the public. Yeah, really, really impressive hand for them. Good deck. All right, so atrocity kills me if I if I tap. You know, if I tap under, if I play like jewel protector, we tap under atrocity, it'll kill me. But I kind of need to, you know, Jewel Protector this Sparkle Fly, and then you know, be able to play Sparkle Fly next turn and attack with Life Steal. So I think I think I just die to Atrocity. I think that if I don't think I can really play around it that well. Do I play the Zoe? So let's see, save two mana, seven and two. Okay, so no, I do not play Zoe. So I'm, I'm planning on having Sparkle Fly with Dragon's Rage. So they're going to draw a champion. I guess I hope that champion's Nasus. Yeah, I hope it's Nasus. Hope that was Nessus, because Kindred's Champion spell messes me up pretty good. Looks like it was Kindred. That's just the wrong thing to do. They should have definitely done that on my Sparkle Fly, because my Sparkle Fly would have turned into a 1-2 instead of a 4-5. It doesn't like come back as a 4-5. And they would have kept their kindred alive, which would have killed my 4-4. So they just the desert. They definitely I threw that. Die. I guess I can try again. Timer Lux. It's been a long time since we played against Timer Lux. Timer Lux is cool. I kind of think. Of, let's just keep the other one. All right, so we're just going to be going with the the champion hand here. I'm keeping both Zoe's because you know, like they Mystic shot my first Zoe. We have a backup. 
Yeah, they op they opened. Yeah, my opponent had a had a really really good start, and then it just it just never ended. You know, turn turn two attack for ten. Turn three, put another six power into play with undying plus the the three another three two to sacrifice it. And then they kept drawing cards with Glimpse Beyond Spirit Leech without undying. Kindred and and good good spells, and then fly a caretaker like that's yeah. I don't know if any decks in the format beat that, <laughs> to be honest. That was impressive. So what, what I'm worried about, I would like to go Inspiring Mentor into Zed. The problem with playing Zed next turn first pre-combat is that Remembrance is usually what they want to be doing on turn three. So if I play Zed, they play Remembrance. I don't even get to attack with Zed. So it may just be better just to play this super cool star chart. I could have the Sleepy Trouble Bubble. You know, save my two spell mana and not play the mentor. Okay. That's not exactly what I was expecting, but they get a lot of turrets. That that was unlucky for them. That's too bad. They had like six mana of turrets. That production surge for six mana, though, that is a, another card to turn on the Mage Seekers. That is another good six mana spell for Mage Seekers. Magic has no place here. Yeah, so that's pretty interesting. The Equinox just gives us minus two, minus two. No, I want Moon Silver. Hmm. Surprised that 6 5 didn't attack. They're thinking if they attack with the 6 5, I block with my 4 4. Now it turns into a 6 1, and then they don't get to block Zed. I think that's what they were thinking. Could go with the shadow shift, but just let it happen. My training is unconventional. More Zoe's. All right, we got two uh, big sparkle flies, and then I'm gonna I'm planning on probably bouncing the Zephyr Sage back to my hand, so we can. Order, cycle. Basically, we're gonna have like five five elusive life steal sparkle flies for the rest of the game. Oh, well, that's good. That denies very good. Adam! What is up? Thanks for getting that resub in. Games are going well. Stream's going well. Pushing my limit. Hey, old. OLG, what's up? What's up? Okay. So I think this is where I'm going to go shadow shift or just let this happen. I don't think this is, I don't think I deny this. I could just let it happen and play a new Zoe. A beacon through the dark. I bear a message from, oh hey, what's that?
successful. I guess we go with this. You'll soon understand my methods. Dang. Alright, that's definitely getting countered. Because that is the six spell mana for Lux, then obviously buffs all those things up. That would be a pretty big problem. If I put this back in my hand with Shadow Shift, all the buffs go away, correct? I think they do. I think they do. But let's still do this. Yeah, they all do. Let's still do that so I can play the other one. And then I'll just I'll just have to Destiny's call this Sparkle Fly and then copy of Zephyr Sage, which is gonna cost a lot of mana, but I kinda want another blocker. Velocity. So they are letting me trade with their Lux. So their Lux is only one. So I know I could have like lethal next turn with like, you know, Destiny's call Sparkle Fly. But I don't know, trading with Lux sounds pretty good. This isn't part of the training. I am a true master. Because this Lux is already five out of six. I mean, there was only one turn where Zed could attack if I would have blocked the... Inside. No, because they didn't even attack with the entire. So there was never, there was never time for Zed, Zed to attack. Last, because the last turn they played Lux, they had Lux Barrier. We couldn't have Zed attack through Lux Barrier. That's not cool. Silent as death. Yeah, kind of surprised Heimer hasn't leveled up yet. No greater gift than knowledge. Yes, now we got three two danger noodle. Alright, but now that thing's gonna level up. Speaking of Heimer, is gonna level up now. So much beef. <laughs> yeah, four mana draw one. It's better than it's better than nothing, right? It's better than not having that option. Over 
Hmm. Think before you strike. It's too late for you. Now they have an elusive blocker. I just don't have time. I don't have time to, you know, Destiny's call something and then and then keep playing it. Yeah, so I could turn I could turn Sparklefly into a 910. That'll take up all, you know, my whole turn all my mana. I think I'm starting here. The order rewards its faithful. Could certainly be useful. Oh, other than Zephyr Sage? Oh right, but Zephyr Sage doesn't have to copy units. It can't we can copy like Dragon's Rage. I forget about that. Let's get another one of these. The sun is shining. We should too. You should not, Lux. Okay, Destiny's call on Highwayman gives us two 910s. Dragon's Rage, this Heimerdinger. I thought I'd put them to three. I'd get a Zoe. Mm. I can't play Destiny's Call. I'd lose if I do that. My friend and I are yeah, and I can't. And so I can't. I can't really concussive palm stun and then get a three two because you think you may think like, oh well, you get to stun something and get a three two that to block that takes care of two things. But it just you know like they just you know. T hex cover up whatever I stun, and so like they, they just lets them play more things. So I can't really do that. Hey boo! Right out. Boo is here. Boo give to the sub to Nasher. Thank you, boo. Okay. Yeah, only attacking here. You cannot escape. Force said so. Oh, I'm one mana short. I want to go Destiny's Call on the Zephyr Sage, and then and then next turn play Zephyr Sage and Dragon's Rage and kill them with that. But that that's going to cost 13 mana, and next turn I can have 12 mana. I'm using the wrong Concussive Palm. They know about the one on the left. Bounce Shadow Assassin and replay it. I just need so much more mana than what I have. I can recall the Concussive Palm next turn again if, if it turns out like that's something we need to do. Two out of six. So if, if I play Big Sparkle and attack with Big Sparkle, it's going to be a 9-10. Our opponent's going to have a 7-2 to block it. So that means Sparkle would have three health left. So if they have, you know, get excited. Or anything like that, they could kill Big Sparkle. Big Sparkle is pretty big, though. Demacian steel, try Demacian magic. Well, let's 
definitely attack here. So many prismatic barriers. Looks like they got me. I just need more mana this whole time. Yeah, barrier prevents the lifesteal, because barrier prevents the damage. All right, well, that was a good close game. Two and two. My core deck. Um, I was at at that point. I wanted to be able to copy with Zephyr Sage, and so I thought I would have. I thought I'd be able to copy with Zephyr Sage at that point, but um, you know, like back way back on like turn eight. But yeah, I should. I guess I should have just gone for Destiny Call Sparkle Fly, and not have it copied with Zephyr Sage. Okay, I'm going to keep these. Ooh. Because I'm not playing Sparklefly on turn 2. Definitely not playing Sparklefly on turn 2 with Flea Feather Tracker. But yeah, they have Flea Feather Trackers and... Um, Valors. Push back in darkness. We don't want any trouble. Burn away the shadows. That's why I kept these. Like I'm, I'm waiting for like Protector is gonna buff up Sparklefly, and then I'm gonna play Sparklefly. Just looking out for the public. We've been through a lot. Ugh. All right, so. If I play Green Glade Elder first, then next turn, next turn I play Zed, and then turn five Protector. There is a good difference between you know having a four three instead of a you know or a five three I guess instead of a five two because again of the their two one challengers. Pledge yourself to the shadows. Oh, we're just gonna play the Z the Zed and attack with it. My shield is yours. Dang. Rice Seal Protector yesterday, you know, wrecked me in multiple games. Wrecked me pretty good right here. That was a great Bright Seal Protector. The desert by my side. Tales of our past are seeds for our future. This is mercy. No idea why the Lucian's attacking. Why that's attacking first? I will teach you. Our last three opponents have had awesome hands. They really have. Uh, I mean, not really. I mean, yeah, I guess our second opponent. Like, the the Shadow Isles per Like, this is kind of like the Shadow Isles opponent's hand. Yeah, this is just great. Like, <laughs> for four turns, it doesn't get much better than this. This is mercy. I'm trying to feed my family. Last game I got way too greedy with the Zephyr Sages. That's what cost me whenever I like the turn well like six playing Zephyr Sage, rebouncing it. Like that kind of stuff like that. That's what really cost me last game. Unbelievable. This fight isn't over. Yeah. 
they just open attack the next turn. No matter what I block, the game's over. If I block one of the smaller things, they get to attack again. All right, so yeah, game three and game five against Shadow Isles and against the Lucian deck, they just went off. They just went crazy in both of those games. Um, I think our, our deck did some really cool stuff, though, right? Like, we, we did pick up two wins that were nice and impressive, and against the uh, Heimerdinger deck, I think that I was much too slow and too greedy in that game in, in like, turn six, seven, eight in particular. Um and need to go for it earlier. Um, I really, I liked, I liked Destiny's Call though. I was impressed with Destiny's Call, Dragon's Rage. I think the one card I didn't like in our deck was actually Zephyr Sage. <laughs> that that was the card that uh, turned out to just kind of be too slow. Like it, that just wasn't necessary. Um, even though that is like really cool being able to copy the stuff. You just, we just don't have time. I wouldn't mind just having a third Dragon's Rage, and you know, instead of a Zephyr Sage, um, you know, another Dragon's Rage, and then another like protection spell, like another Nopify would have been great to have access to um for sure so i think i think that's what i'd recommend i would say because i know i know we're a meme tier deck we're trying to do, do cool zephyr sage copy stuff but it it didn't seem like it was necessary so what i would actually do i would make a couple changes here i would, I would play another nopify and another dragon's rage um both those cards were cards that that felt very good and then and then finally honestly monastery of Hirana also quite slow and pretty awkward at times i think i would just get rid of that and replace it with with um retreat recall or retreat return i have been very impressed with retreat return and so i think i'd, I'd rather just have that i think i'm not so sure about that one maybe monastery because monastery you can pick up like jewel protector which is cool i'm not sure that's something to think about but for sure i i would get rid of the zephyr sage um, get another finisher with Dragon's Rage and get more protection with Nopify. I do that for sure. Homecoming is not bad at all. I I have always liked Homecoming. I could I could definitely see playing a Homecoming over a Dragon's Rage. I'm just thinking like Dragon's Rage is like a good way to finish the opponent out after you know whenever you do Destiny's Call on something large. Dragon's Rage is a great way to kill your opponent and have the very large uh, strike on the enemy nexus. What am I another inspiring mentor? You know, with, with playing Highwaymans and everything, only two matches. I wouldn't mind playing a third one of those. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, this was pretty cool. This was pretty cool. All right, so it's Hirana's Destiny. Good meme tier deck to start the day off with. We're going to have it. If you like this deck, we're going to have a similar deck later on. Sivir Zed is going to be similar to this. Lots of Ionia cards as well uh, with Green Glade Elder Recall, Zed, Sivir. It's going to have Dawn and Dusk. Um, to be able to make multiple copies of, like, uh, spell, spell Shielded Sivir and stuff like that. All right, but anyway, that's it here for Hirana's Destiny. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And if you got other deck ideas for next week's Meme Tier Monday or anything else, I lo always love to see those comments. But thank you so much for watching some Hirana's Destiny, and I'll see you for the next video.